commitment. We'll take a look at the issues that are used to connect employee commitment and job design with some of the larger organizational redesign efforts. Specifically, we're going to look at the advantages of creating an environment of employee commitment. We'll look at informal design elements for building high commitment and using job enrichment to increase commitment. So let's start with some of the advantages of commitment. Obviously, commitment is the internalized desire of an employee to expend that energy and that discretionary effort on behalf of the goals of the organization. This is what we all like to see our employees do. The more committed an employee is, the better the performance, the better the bottom line, everybody's happy. When we have high levels of employee commitment, we're going to see higher levels of collaboration as well. And this becomes a willingness to cooperate between individuals or between teams and working towards a common goal. So we tie in some of the concepts we've looked at already. Employee commitment usually indicates alignment, collaboration, is empowerment and autonomy. We see a lot of informal design elements that help to increase employee commitment in an organization. For example, very simple and yet overlooked by so many companies is simply the clarity of the organizational goals. If an employee knows what they're supposed to be doing and what the goal is, you would be amazed at how better they would, how much better they would perform. Employees at all levels and in every unit, if they're provided with an understanding of the goals and the values of the organization, they're going to do better. Influence mechanisms. This could be formal or informal. Uh, formal would be something like an elected committee or board. Informal would be managers that simply have open door policies. But this enables participation and creates that dialogue that we keep talking about. Dialogue and decision making within the organization. Teamwork. More and more companies focusing on a team environment. Teams that are designated to perform those interdependent tasks that are necessary to the entire whole of the company. Shared information. They used to say information is power and they were absolutely right. But shared information is power. Employees that are kept informed about how a company is performing, including things like financial performance, cost, profitability, information on their competition, feedback. This is information sharing at its highest and it is going to establish a trust, a relationship between the employees and the company. Organic controls. Peer pressure, culture, expectations of outstanding performance, reinforced through feedback. Individual development opportunities. I've said it before and I'll say it again. When, a comp when an employee feels that he or she has the interest of their company because their company is working to train and develop them and increase their knowledge, skills, and abilities, in the back of their head, they're saying, my company cares. So when employees are given these opportunities to be developed, it's going to show in their commitment to the company. One other method that we can use to create employee commitment is through job enrichment. Job enrichment tends to be uh, supported by Alderman Hatman's uh, 
theory of the job characteristics model. Now you have to understand what job enrichment is before you can understand how to use the uh, five core dimensions of uh, the job characteristics model. Job enrichment is a vertical loading of job responsibilities for a role within the company. So let's say that you have a typical role that does step one, two, three, four. We could enlarge that job by adding steps five and six, so we would load it horizontally, which could actually create more commitment, but we could also enrich it by loading it vertically and not just adding more job tasks that are on the same responsibility level as the job that the individual was doing before, but adding tasks that are on a higher level, forcing that individual to become more knowledgeable and more developed in this area. That also creates commitment. If we take a look at Oldham and Hatman's model of the job characteristics, there are five key job characteristics. Skill variety. Skill variety is the degree that a job requires um, a variety of different activities. In other words, if we're doing the same three tasks over and over and over again, we're going to get bored with it. So with skill variety, we give uh, our employees an opportunity to use different skills and talents so that they're not doing the same rep repetitive motion over and over again. What it does for enrichment is it enlarges the task requirements. It requires an individual to increase their skill set. Task identity is the degree that a job requires completion of a whole. It's kind of like this. Let's say uh, you have a bicycle building plant and you have one person that is building a bicycle from the bottom up. And this individual is very proud of these bicycles that he's building. And then all of a sudden one day you say, well, we're going to go to a, an assembly line. so." The only thing that you're going to do is put the wheels on the bike and then the next person's going to put the brakes on and the next person's going to put the handlebars on. You take away that task identity, that, that opportunity to see a completed job. Rather than building the bicycle from the bottom up where it becomes kind of like this piece of art, he sees the two wheels. This is going to and taking away that task identity will decrease the commitment. Increasing that task identity by allowing somebody to build the bike from the bottom up is going to help individuals to share responsibility and become highly committed to the organization. Task significance is the degree of importance that the task has, that it has a, sub a substantial impact on the outcomes. Knowing that what you do is important. And let me tell you, it does not matter how low you are on the totem pole. Every job has a reason for being. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a job. So making sure that everybody understands the importance of their role within the company is going to increase commitment. It's going to do it through communicating how an individual contributes to the success of the company. Autonomy is the degree that the job uh, provides a certain level of discretion to the individual in terms of scheduling their work or carrying out their procedures. And it allows individuals or groups to do things as simple as schedule their working schedule, their tasks. This little bit of empowerment will add to commitment. And then finally, feedback. Feedback is so important. It's the degree to which carrying out the work activities um, 
the individual is given information about the effectiveness of their performance. Feedback is so very, very important because it's going to create enrichment and increase commitment because you're constantly communicating concerning an individual's progress and working towards the goals. So we kind of get an idea of how to increase employee commitment through enrichment and through the job characteristics model.